to I say. think men love more authentically than women. Huh? huh? Oh, and this is what I mean by that. You Wait. say you say say that again. <laughs> I say I think men <laughs> I love adjust. more authentically than women, and this is why. I can agree, but go ahead. Before you say your okay. spiel, before you say your spiel, I'm gonna see where you're going with it and see mm. if I'm I'm feeling where you're you going from. You've heard me say it before. Okay, so okay, because women, we can find and look and, and figure out how to love somebody. Mm-hmm. We can love your potential. Mm-hmm. We can love what you're going to become or what we're gonna, we're gonna make you. Correct. But when a man falls in love with a woman, mm-hmm. he pursues her. With a vigor like nothing else. No. He, when he's in love with that woman, that is his love. That's what you, mm-hmm. like, he's focused he's on it. But us, we can find a way to love. You no. know, I'm not, yeah, we, we will, we will love some potential. We've I mean, done it. Yeah. We've done it before. Mm-hmm. I've done it before plenty of I'm times. I love what they will become. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing it no more. I ain't doing like, it no more. Like, you for deliverance. <laughs> but we, we, we and deliverance. when we say we love somebody, we, our feelings are so a part of our makeup that yeah. mm-hmm. we jump into it. Yeah. That was those feelings of love, whatever, feel like whatever it is. And we overlook a multitude of faults and mess mm-hmm. with a man. It's hyper-focused when it's that woman, boom, he's in it. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm breaking down for you. Oh, well, break it so, down, man. Uh, break it down. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> and it brought me back to when I heard, y'all heard this saying, a man marries who he wants and a woman mm. marries who she can. Mm. Mm. And I heard that and I got upset and I was like, wait a minute, what you mean? But when you think about it, a man is very solid on his boundaries when it comes to his legacy and giving his last name. Yep. Now, having a girlfriend for years, whatever he does with you for years, mm-hmm. but when it comes to his last name and his legacy Amen. as a wife, mm-hmm. he don't bend on his boundaries. Us as women, if he mm. has the potential mm. to be a good husband and we can kind of make it up and make it look like it, we, what mm. we want it to be, we'll bend on deal breakers and boundaries mm. in order to get a ring. Yeah, Babe, because sure. I, we it. fantasize yeah. about marriage. Yeah. But mm. a man, he, I don't care what you do. You can threaten to leave. You can leave. He'll be there with you 10 years if you stay. Mm. But when he gets ready to get married, he's going to marry done. who he wants. It's starting to sound like and y'all agree with me. He, <laughs> I was like, I, was, I, 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 I know he's going and I had to think about that and be mature about that because I was like, hey, no way, I'm going to marry who I want. No. But let's think about when I went back through the relationships I had been in, mm-hmm. a lot of them was because I could, mm-hmm. not because that's who I wanted, because I picked something that I could deal with and make up this man and mm-hmm. build a man mm-hmm. and then go along with it. But in those men that would not commit, those men that stayed mm-hmm. in those situationships, he wasn't bending. I don't care what trick mm-hmm. you do. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you swing from now the chandelier, fixed. cook, fixed. clean, whatever it that is. is. Mm-hmm. It don't matter because whatever it is he's looking for a w- in a wife, if you don't have it, he's you won't get a ring. He's going to peep it. He's going to peep it early. Early yeah. on. And he's going to give you years they to change know early. it. early. And if you don't change it, you know, he 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 already got an exit strategy. Mm-hmm. See, he, see, that's how, like you said, a man loves a woman, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, if, like, let me give you an example. If we find a woman that's broken, right? We'll love that broken woman. We'll try to raise her up out of her brokenness. And... The day that she doesn't acknowledge that value that he's put into her, mm-hmm. he exited. Mm-hmm. He's never going to marry that because he already know that you didn't take the time to evaluate the time that he put in to that whole span of your growth and development. So he's like, you know what? Mm-hmm. You wasted my time mm-hmm. because my time was an investment. Mm-hmm. You ever heard the saying that the most valuable thing you can give a person is your time? Mm-hmm. It is. So if a man spends five or 10 years with you and you got a woman say, girl, he ain't marry you yet. Right? It ain't that he don't want to marry you. It's something in you that he see that ain't married at all. Mm. <laughs> well, he means so he should feelings. exit. He should uh, yeah. But as women, my damn oh, my <laughs> sorry. Go but as women, oh, we oh, stay there man. and try to force yes, that yeah. instead of saying, if you ain't figured out in a year or two, baby, exactly. we can be cool, but I'm out because whatever it is you want to see, either I'm not getting it mm. and I'm exactly. not going to waste any more of my yeah. time. So mm-hmm. I'm going to let you go ahead. If you mm-hmm. see it from a bar, then go ahead. Mm-hmm. But if not, I'm out. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so, I mean, so tell us what So So to go back to the point, Men love more authentically than women. What I mean by that, women are in love with love. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I think you guys are wired to stick anybody in that spot. You can Mm. can make him fit. (laughs) And part of... Part of the reason I know that, like, when I've had conversations with women (laughs) um, that I was involved with, and, you know, let's say we were talking about sex. 
Mm. Very often, a woman's sex dream, it's a silhouette of a man. Yeah. It's not even somebody they know. Mm. Very mm. often, like when I ask her, okay, who was it? It was just a shadow. I be knowing who mine be. You, uh, you might be. You <laughs> I'm might a dreamer, be but, but, I'm but I say that to say, <laughs> you, you guys are socialized from little girls to fall in love with the process, the pageantry of love, the, the courting phase and the mm-hmm. dates and the, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He put his hand on my thigh and we walked down the aisle and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. On the flip side, <laughs> when a man fi- figures out that realizes he's in love, that's not a happy experience. He like, God damn it. Because that is oh, wow. a responsibility now, yeah. now, because again, our two jobs are provide and protect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love her means that I'm willing to die for her. That's mm-hmm. not right. part of your responsibility. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So we're not going to be as flippant or as, uh, you know, generous with that love. Plus, yeah. we're not socialized to fall in love with mm-hmm. the whole process mm-hmm. and shit like that. Right. There was a, a stand-up special by Patrice O'Neill. He was talking about this club. And it, it's sectioned off based on people's relationship status and their gender. Mm-hmm. So there's a group of single men having a good old time. They happy, they drinking, they popping bottles all night. There's a group of single women, miserable as hell. Wow. Where my boy ass? There's a group. There's a group of um, women in a relationship. They happy as hell. They popping bottles. They having a good time with my man. Welcome to my right. man. And then there's a group. <laughs> I'm sick of you. <laughs> and then there's a group. I got to throw in a pop culture you, reference. I like it. And then there's a group of, um, you're fine. You're good. Yeah. And then there's a group of single men. Married men. Oh, man, married men. Mm-hmm. They miserable. They just yeah. as miserable as the single women. Mm. I wonder why. Because, again, for men, we think about love through the lens of duty. Mm-hmm. Okay. We think about love through the lens of responsibility. These mm-hmm. aren't sex, sexy things, mm-hmm. right? No. We, we think of it as, oh, man, That's I have fantasy. to be ready to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever it is, even if I don't want to, mm-hmm. whether that's oh. battle, whether that's work, whatever the case may mm-hmm. be. As a single dude, you're living for yourself. Yeah. Right. No. But as a, as a married dude, as a man in a relationship, you give a fuck about her. You right. care about her. If she yeah. get off work late, you on the phone making sure she going down a lit up. You know, how things it's innate to us. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we're not enthusiastic about that process Mm -mm. (laughs) because that's another job for me. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. if a woman gets me to fall in love with her, damn. She, she got me. She got me. What makes mm-hmm. you fall in love so, with a So woman? wait, I was going to say, are we able to oh, ask okay. questions? Yeah. 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 So would you say that's why men run from that? Absolutely. Or run mm-hmm. from commitment? of that I, Because of that responsibility yeah. that comes mm-hmm. with that's what I think. loving a woman in commitment. So, so He's two, a runner to so, 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 so two things. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of the complaints I hear from women, especially... You know, younger women is, you know, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to commit. And he's not. He's still trying to be a fuckboy. I've been guilty of that Mm. in my day. No. (laughs) Really? But but the thing is, we have to understand I'm racing against a financial clock. You're racing against a biological clock. Mm. Mm. So you you ready to be settled down by 25, 24 Mm. even. Shit, if we being real, 16. Biologically mm-hmm. speaking, but, yeah. the devil is a liar. But child, I ain't thirty. Oh, <laughs> but for most men, our clock is based on: Can I pay a mortgage? Mm-hmm. Can I support a wife and two children? Yeah. Can I support two car payments? Mm-hmm. Can I support insurance and mm-hmm. things like that? Mm-hmm. And for most of us, we're not gonna get there till thirty-five. Yeah. Early. Mm-hmm. 30 early, and this is if he's a tech bro and things like that. Right. Correct. So yeah, we're yeah. not as enthusiastic about y'all like jumping into that with y'all but the unfortunate mm-hmm. thing about it is when he's ready you might not be able to pop kids out no more mm-hmm. so that that that, 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 that timeline that, that exactly that's where that tension is and he might now be looking at let's say he's 35 he might not be looking at a 30 year old mm-hmm. whereas he wasted your time or he let you go whatever the case may be mm-hmm. yeah and it's the unfortunate reality and i'm still trying to figure out what the solution is because i'm not hugely mm-hmm. on like huge age gap Relationships, mm-hmm. yeah, but I think that's some of the miscommunication between y'all that's, niggas ain't shit and women is rushing us <laughs> and things like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I mean, I understand the financial part, but mm-hmm. what if you got a partner that's a go getter? She gonna go get it like you go get it. What well, happens in those nine want to months? Be mm-hmm. What happens in those nine months when she can't get it? Uh, she, she, no, she can't sit down the whole nine months. 
But that's that's how we think. Because again, oh, okay, okay, remember, okay, okay, men okay. are provide and protect. Yeah. Right. Provision is about getting the money. Right. Protection is about protecting what you have. But mm-hmm. that's also rhetorical in the sense where think about being a bodyguard, right? Let's say I'm your bodyguard and mm-hmm. we about to go out this door. Okay. I have to assume there's Just somebody right there. here about to stab you. Uh-huh. There's a sniper on that roof. There's some there's a puddle right there you might trip on. I have to be Pro-handed. worst case scenario yeah. oriented. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Similarly, men right. are worst case scenario oriented. Yeah. So mm-hmm. whether you are able to help me out during your pregnancy, we're gonna default to you can't. Mm-hmm. We're gonna okay. default to what if she loses her job? It's we're gonna default you. to mm-hmm. so until I can feel confident in my ability to literally take care of you, Mm -hmm. I might not be as enthusiastic about. And then this whole new age thing or we building together and things like that. But again, women are also talking out the other side of their neck. I want a man who makes six figures, six foot tall. You got to come to the table. Six inches and six pack and all that good stuff. Well, I hear a lot of men talking out the side of their neck. Talking about about the women got to have and we got to go 50-50 on this. That's what I was just about to say. What about the 50-50 men? Men do we have to be financially stable? Let's talk about it. Because we 50-50 anyway. Let's talk about it. I hear it all the time now. They're like, oh, she got to bring something to the table now, man. Ain't going to be anything to eat off me, man. Like... What, because, when did that happen? Where was be, that disconnect? Be, because the women That's started using about. the men for the money. Oh, I guess. It, it I turned into, mm-hmm. it went from we looking at men to provide and protect to the women starting to be like, oh, I'm going to take it for all he got. I want all his coin. He going to buy me this. He going to buy me that. And they not valuing the pro- pro- providing and protecting part. Like, mm-hmm. you should feel honored that a man wants to do these things for you and not mm-hmm. feel like, let me take all his yeah. stuff. And so mm-hmm. now men looking at us like all we want is money. When in reality, no, I do not. I do not. I make my own. Now, if you want to give me some, thank you. <laughs> but I ain't about to be out here like, oh, I only want to be with you because you got a coin in your pocket. I can care less. I'll say, I'll say this. Mm-hmm. One of the things that, you know, doing this has taught me is sometimes we overrepresent certain subgroups of people. Okay. And what I mean by that is you know, like on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you always see these videos of women who, yeah, I, I, I'd rather date a drug dealer and things like that. Not realizing that oftentimes, let's say some, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm out doing interviews with a camera, mm-hmm. it tends to be that type of individual that's willing to be interviewed. Mm-hmm. The good women are not willing we, to be they're interviewed. Like, they're going to walk past, yeah. oh, thank you, I'm good. So those people who are like, yeah, he got it, flew me out and yeah. my pussy... Those are the ones who are the most bombastic and then they end up overrepresented. Similarly, Mm -hmm. I think, unfortunately, with what about these 50-50 dudes? Personally, I don't know any 50-50 dudes. And I think what happens is a lot of the, like I said earlier, a lot of the 50-50 archetype type of dudes are the ones who do the best with women. They were typically raised by a single mother. Mm. They typically have a whole bunch of style and swag and you know, hood, you know, aesthetic in the whole nine. Now, underneath that, just like you were talking about the dude who'd been in prison, those are actually the most feminine men. Mm -hmm. Low key, people don't Mm -hmm. realize that it's femininity. It's pseudo-masculinity, which is femininity. Mm -hmm. We don't identify it that way, but that is the type of behavior that's incentivized. That boy Mm -hmm. grew up seeing his mom be Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So obviously he's going to expect it from the woman that he's with. Mm -hmm. And now we're using him to over-represent black men, not knowing that there's a whole swath of black men who are willing to take care of you the whole nine. Right. Unfortunately, he might not have a swag. He might not have the emotional exhibitionist that you're used to in the man who's like, you know, can't. Uh, uh, every, leave me like everybody else. That's manipulation. Mm-hmm. But a lot of women mm-hmm. are used to Narcissist. men being mm-hmm. emotional in that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? He's going to be boring because he's peaceful and not toxic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's a. I think it's an age thing now. And may, maybe maybe not. Uh, I think it's the it's a immature <laughs> uh, a mature thing, and it's the a healthy thing. It's it's the maybe the people who are on a healing journey who want to yeah. deal with whatever their issues are to and be more realistic about their expectations because that sounds crazy to me like in our 20s yes mm-hmm. baby I, I want to be a hood drug dealer for real I did mm-hmm. I done had a couple mm-hmm. okay yeah. I ain't I'm 35 I never wanted they them because I'm scared Listen, they I, scared well I'm a BK and I was rebellious so I did, I did. My, my take, but, but also to mm-hmm. the men that are the good men mm-hmm. 
they've come across a woman that has said, I'm going to take him for everything I got. Right. Now he's broken. Mm -hmm. So when you meet right. the good woman, right. then mm -hmm. now you are traumatized and have PTSD right. and then you're trying to figure out what's her motive exactly. because mm -hmm. although you coming at me a different way you still might have a motive mm -hmm. and I can't go out like a sucker right. see, that, seg that segue into what I was about to say I feel like the 50-50 thing has come about because <gasps> men have sat back <laughs> in observance mm -hmm. to see the men who have had the financial success mm -hmm. I mean just completely ob obliviated so, I mean, I can't match a Tiger Woods pocket, mm -hmm. but I can see the example that no matter what amount of money I get to establish that with a woman, her loyalty ain't to that. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, men like, okay, well, I'm not finna provide that no more mm -hmm. in, in, in the sense of me taking care of everything because now he want to know whether or not the relationship is real. You're going to go 50-50 with me. It's our thing versus my thing, right? Mm -hmm. So he wants to feel a little more secure now. So he's looking at it as, okay, well, I got all these examples of all these celebrities and, uh, and ball players who make the money I probably never see, who take care of the woman who still don't be, is not appreciated. So men now are starting to, to, to have that awareness that I'm not finna fork everything out and get left. But I did that myself personally. You know, I, I, I dealt with everything financially for 20 years. Mm. Right. And then when my, my uh, ex-wife decided she wanted to leave because I couldn't put the type of time in with her when I was running a business. Mm. Right. She found somebody that was less valuable than me to give her time. 